Hello and welcome to ExcelExperts.com. Now there are many shortcuts in Excel, but I've written up a list of the ones that I find most useful. The one, these are the ones that I use every single day, and I'm going to do a little video training session on how they work. So the very first one is Alt and Down Arrow. So if I'm on here and I add some data validation with a list, and the list can be A, B, C, okay. Alt and down arrow will allow me to bring up the list. Down arrow again will select the first element of that. Down arrow again, I can cycle through them. Up arrow, enter to enter the value. So I like to use the keyboard. You can either do this with the mouse or you can select that and choose from there. Alt enter, so I've got something here and I want to move on to the next line. If I press enter, it just go, takes me to the next cell. So let's go back here and press alt enter. That creates a new line and when I hit return you can see that it's on two lines. Alt F11 brings up the VBA editor. Alt F11 takes it away. Control minus, select a row, control minus, deletes it. To insert a row, control shift plus. Control and colon, the date. Control shift colon, the time. Have a formula here value of this and suppose I want to instead of seeing the answer to this formula I want to see the formula of that formula so control and the button to the left of one toggles between the view of showing the formula and showing the value so if you see the actual function calls and you don't know what's going on, well, you're in formula mode. So press control and the button to the left of one and it'll toggle, toggle back, it'll take you back. So you can, you can go between the two modes very easily just by toggling. Control A selects an area around your current selection and the connecting cells. Control Alt F9 forces a recalculation. So if I've got the now function, for example, format cells, add seconds. I could press Control Alt F9 to force every single cell on the entire workbook to recalculate. There we go. In this case, because now is a volatile function and it calculates, it's fine. But sometimes you get functions that are stubborn and they don't seem to want to calculate. So that's how you force a calculation. Control Alt F9. Control C, copy. Move with the arrow keys, enter to paste. Shift space, select some rows. Control space, select some columns around the cells that we've selected. So if we select that and then place, press control space and then press shift space, it's everything. Control and right arrow take you to the end of the road. Control left arrow will take you to the next occupied cell and you can move around the worksheet just by holding down the control key and pressing arrows. Ah, oh, that's down, that's up, that's right, left. And if we were to go control left from here, we'd hit that cell there. So basically it finds the end of the road and stops there. Finds a blockage, the next obstacle, next occupied cell. Control home takes you back to A1. 
unless you've got panes frozen. In here I've just frozen the panes and I uh, select that cell, press control home and it takes me to the cell underneath the leftmost frozen cell. So that's control home. Control page down, next worksheet in workbook. Control page up, back. Control F find. So let's say I'm looking for X cell. Most people are. Hit enter, take you to the cell. Find next, take you to the next cell. Find next, brings you back to the first one. Control G to go to. I could go to C11. Or Control G, I could go to all formulas that are numbers. There we go. Control H, I could replace. So let's replace Excel with Wibble. Okay. WibbleExperts.com. I prefer Excel. Control Z, undo. Control Y, redo. Control Z, undo. Control N, new workbook. Control O, open workbook. Control P, print. Control S, save. Control Shift A, bring up the arg argument list. Control Shift A, boom, argument list. Control tab, next workbook. Just show you how this works. Hi, it's workbook two. Control tab, takes you back. Control shift tab, previous one. Control tab, next one. If we've copied, control V, paste. F2, edit. So click on a cell with some values. F2 allows you to edit. Enter enters the value. F9 recalc all cells whose dependent cells have changed or the cells that are volatile. In this case, now functions recalculated. Shift F9 only recalculate the current worksheet. You've been listening to excelexperts.com. Thank you for listening. Bye bye.